Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. Happy birthday to those who are celebrating today, tomorrow, yesterday. Happy belated birthday and happy birthdays to come, okay? Um, Aquarius, I have to talk about, I received a really special gift from one of uh, the subscribers here at the channel. Um, she, you actually know her. I have presented some of her products before. It's funny because a week ago, maybe last week, I'm not sure, we had the uh, word of confidence come up and she actually sent me some of her confidence oil. I don't know if you can see that. It says confidence oil. So if you feel like you're lacking in confidence, if you're up for a big promotion or you're gonna ask for that promotion or that job, get some of this confidence oil. It smells amazing. Uh, the website is uh, below. Um, it should be on the screen also. And also she sent me her confidence uh, candle, confidence candle, and it has stones in it. It looks like we have some ruby in there. It, it smells amazing. Uh, I can't wait to burn this. So take advantage of that Aquarius. Uh, it's Ruby's daughter. That's the website. Uh, all links are below. And thank you Ruby's daughter for sending me all these wonderful uh, gifts. So let's get into it. Okay, Aquarius. Uh Oh, it seems like <clears throat> I'm getting choked up. So I don't know if somebody's getting choked up in terms of telling you something or you're getting choked up or <coughs> there's a level of being choked up. <coughs> Shit. <coughs> okay. So I just dropped all of that on the floor. I might edit this out and I might not. All right. So we have water and we have ashes on the floor. Let's get into it. I will pick all of that stuff up when I am done with the reading. Um, <clears throat> you might get choked up because you might get the most amazing news, Aquarius. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> you might get the most amazing news. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. This is <clears throat> this is a hot mess. <clears throat> this is two minutes of a hot mess. Okay, I'm being prompted to keep it. <clears throat> okay, so Aquarius, as I struggle through, and maybe you feel like you're struggling through. Every day could be a struggle for you, either energetically, monetarily. Something is a struggle. Um, you may get choked up because you may get the best news that you've been waiting for because you are in a struggle. You are in a tight place. Um, you are in the midst of, and I think our last uh, reading talked about being in the middle, in the center, in the midst. So uh, let's talk about what's going on here for the Aquarius. <clears throat> Okay, Aquarius. Yeah, the five of swords. And five is the half point, right? It's 50 is half. Five is the half point, the five of swords. So you're in that trying place. Keep in mind that fives are temporary. So if you're in a very trying place, if you're in the midst of some trials here is what I'm hearing, do know that it's almost over for you, Aquarius. Wow, you're gonna get that justice, the justice that you deserve, the justice that you've been waiting for, that you have, um, you persevered through maybe you're going to get some payout because the justice card talks about repayment of debt or debt or maybe you're going to pay off something it could even be someone repaying you if it was a personal loan um something being made right being made fair the scales of justice being balanced here something was uh unbalanced it was out of whack it was too much and now the universe is going to come in and make something more uh fair balanced for you because it seems as if Maybe you were in a place of getting not enough. You felt like something was an uphill battle. <clears throat> yeah, you felt like something was an uphill battle. It was an absolute struggle. Or you feel you could still be here for some of you. There could be a lot of negative talk surrounding you. Okay, a lot of jealousy. 
somebody have an ulterior motive. <clears throat> there could even been theft, manipulation. Let's see what's going on. What What is this about for the Aquarius? Is it money? Is it love? King of Wands. So this could be about maybe a particular person or uh, this could be the archetype that you're going to come into uh, being Aquarius. So King of Wands talks about uh, maybe independent work, entrepreneur. It says it's a very lucky time for you right now, Aquarius, with the King of Wands. He's associated with luck. <clears throat> Some of you, if you have your own business, it looks like things are going to work out well for you. Okay. Um, you may get an influx of uh, clientele, of uh, patrons to your business. People, you know, just throwing their money at you, wanting to be involved. You may get a lot of interest in what you're doing or a lot of people inquiring about what you're doing or how you're doing it with the King of Wands here. With the King of Wands, I'm also getting some of you work from home or you want to continue to work from home. Some of you are very tied to a home. You may be even looking forward to getting money to pay off a home, pay out, um, maybe even absolve a debt here. It says it's a, it's a lucky time for you with the King of Wands here. Some of you might just have to make a move or move. Your psychic abilities are being heightened at this time or that, you know, um, there could be a king of wands after you too. After you in terms of, you know, wanting to be with you. This person with the hangman coming out now. Um, <clears throat> oh, and I actually got these cards today uh, from uh, Ruby's daughter. So thank you, Ruby. Um, the hangman. The universe wants you to take a time out and really come to some enlightenment about what part you played in this. What, you know, why aren't you getting the outcome that you, that you want? They want you to take a time out and reflect, look at something from a different perspective. The seven of cups. <clears throat> you could be looking at so this relationship if it's a relationship then it was it was a lot of indulgence you know it was it was fr it was frivolous it wasn't serious it wasn't maybe well thought out there's a lot of wishful thinking to a connection here or this person had a lot of options and they couldn't decide and this person's you know maybe they said things that they just didn't mean, you know, made promises and they just didn't fulfill any of them. It was a lot of wordplay, of course, maybe even fantasy or fantasizing about what could be with you, but not make, making no moves. And maybe that's what had you stuck here and you stuck in this relationship for a, a certain amount of time. The nine of cups. It looks like maybe some of you have or you need to find emotional stability by yourself. Yeah, you need to change the six of pentacles is coming out. You need to change the power dynamic between the two of you. See, it used to be that you used to wait on this person. Wait on them to make moves in the relationship. Wait on them to, you know, guide the relationship as to where it's going. Maybe even make plans and call you back and... Just, you know, they had all the power. You had given up your power in this connection. You were the person, um, quintessentially the, the card, uh, the, what is that? The Rider weight that deck talks about, um, the beggar and the, the rich man or the fortunate man or woman. Um, you, so in that, in that dynamic there, the person in power is the one giving and the beggars are taken or they're in need. So it's like, look at that that uh dynamic and translate it to your relationship so there's someone giving and giving just a little giving what they feel like is enough because when you give to the needy or the less fortunate you give to them what you feel like is enough and that was what someone was doing in terms of the relationship they were just giving you know just enough or giving enough of what they thought was was um feasible 
and you just sitting there like a beggar, just taking it, taking whatever they gave. So the power dynamic was off. You you were waiting. You, and also, if you're a beggar, you got to wait for somebody to give you something, right? Or if you're less fortunate, you're waiting for someone to give. So it just seems as if maybe you got to take your power back, find your emotional stability alone. It shouldn't be tied to a relationship or to a person. You have done this or you need to do this for some of you. The six of pentacles. Um, it says that if you do that, you could shift the power dynamic. So now this person sees you emotionally stable by yourself, independent. And now they're in the beggar's place. Now they're waiting for you to reach out and give them something. Talk to me. Give me some attention. You've taken your power back. I don't like how this power dynamic has shifted. There could also be somebody showing how much they like you, love you. Six of pentacles. Six, six of pentacles by way of buying you something, gifting you. The Six of Pentacles says uh, showing love monetarily, okay? The Queen of Cups, uh, yeah, maybe someone's doing this because you're kind of closed off emotionally right now. You don't have anything to give, okay? People can come and, and give to you, but you're not giving back with the Queen of Cups. She's practicing emotional stability, and she's... Or he's not letting anything destabilize her. You know, it, it, nothing unravel her. She's coming into understanding emotional maturity. And she's coming into understanding give and take in terms of, you know, emotions, in terms of action, <clears throat> maybe even monetarily. The Queen of Cups is really understanding herself. Psychic abilities are coming up heavy, heavily for you with the King of Wands and then the Queen of Cups. It says that you're understanding that you have something to offer to the world, Aquarius, with the Queen of Cups here. Your personality has so many different layers. You're like an onion to some people. And once they feel they know you, then you show them another side of you, another dynamic. Your personality is unfathomable. Like they just can't wrap their mind around it. It's just like something else. Here we go. And it's something else that is intriguing or maybe it could be disheartening. I don't know. The Queen of Cups says, um, it's a bit, you need to be softer with yourself. It's a time to really process your emotions. Not just have them, but process them. I feel this way because. Finish the sentence. And keep going. You know, once you finish that sentence, okay, I feel this way because of what the person said. Why would I let this person and what they have to say matter? Why does it matter so much? You know, you just keep going. Just keep unlocking your emotions. process them and uh, maybe this is what some of you guys are doing instead of just getting upset or cutting off or cutting out let's see yeah wow can't make it up temperance card talks about tempering yourself your emotions you don't go too far to the left you don't go too far to the right you stay in the middle we talked about the middle earlier stay uh the the temperance card actually says take the middle ground you don't blow up. You don't walk out. You don't walk off. You don't curse out. You don't ghost. You process your emotions uh, correctly, accurately. And then you pull from either that masculine or that feminine energy that you need to pull from. But even in that, you still have a level of decorum, discretion, compassion. You know, you don't let anybody bring you down to... A level that you know you're not supposed to be operating on um, temper your emotions temper yourself temper your outbursts it also talks about for some of you the temperance card literally says getting your life in order for some of you this is what you need to do and it could be your emotional and mental life it could be every aspect of your life but getting your life in order Aquarius looks like this reading is really about you your emotions and how you're you're showing up in terms of relationships yeah, the ten of swords. Let, let end the argument, <clears throat> and it could be within yourself. Let this end. The tens talk about completion, the finale. Um, 
the fullness of a thing is done. If you come to my restaurant and I say I'm full to capacity, I'm full to capacity. You know, uh, I can't let anyone else in unless someone goes out. But no one's leaving right now. So, you know, it's over. It's done. We're done for it tonight. So let something be over. It's like, because sometimes this Clark could sometimes talk about playing the victim, being overly dramatic. And it and it's coupled with the temperance card. Either temper your emotions, take the middle ground, or play the victim, be overly dramatic, and continue to feel like you are the one who has been backstabbed, betrayed, devastated. Also, go back to the hangman. Look at the look at the part that you played here. Everybody can't be toxic. Everybody. So you meet all the toxic people. What is that telling you about you? You the beauty in, in that question is you get to answer it. And I hope you answer it with a clear conscience and a clear mind of wanting to, you know, have better outcomes and better results. If it's that, yes, everybody's toxic, everybody I meet is toxic, then, you know, then you're the earth angel. So just wait and wait until you die to go back to heaven then because everyone is toxic. Or you can look at it from a different perspective, the hangman, and say maybe the energy that I have been putting out is really pulling in that toxic energy for, you know, from different people. And maybe even in meeting these toxic people, engaging in some type of relation or relationship with them it has taught me xyz about myself um about how i need to operate how i need to uh perform in relationships so it wasn't all for the worst or the bad um you gotta look at something different you gotta turn something on its head and that's what the cards are trying to get you to do okay and so that you can move forward because we have, yeah, the six of cups, you need to connect backwards. Okay. That's what the six of cups talks about. It talks about a simpler time. And back to Ten of Swords, ending the argument, maybe there is a particular person who maybe has not always shown up in the best capacity. And maybe you haven't, maybe, I don't know, whatever. Um, but the six of cups, it says that there used to be good times. Because there's a level of nostalgia. There's a level of thinking about the good times or the cards are wanting you to go back in terms of your emotions. Um, go back maybe even to childhood because it talks about childhood memories, childhood trauma. Um, maybe even going back into a better place uh, in terms of a, a specific relationship, one that you're coming to the reading for. Think about when it was good, when it was simple, when it was fun, when it was carefree, when you could just say, I love you. Some of you just need to say, I love you. There's a hard exterior to some of you and someone does, doesn't even know how to approach. Um, there's a, there's a strong barrier up an invisible barrier. You think that it's down and you think your guard is down and you think that you're approachable, but some of you are not. The six of cups also talks about not able to to have simple argument disagreement with a particular person due to lack of emotional immaturity now that could be on your part or another person yeah so and this this is scorpio so this is a lesson in deep transformation so maybe you need to transform back into that softer place with the six of cups talks about soulmate pregnancy marriage just a, you know a good time somebody could be older younger someone could be more established the other person isn't there are true feelings maybe even true soulmate feelings between you and someone else but you having a hard time coupling that with personality dynamic now we got real feelings for each other but our personalities clash and that's what the cards are saying. All right, so let's see what's going on for a quick minute. 19 minutes. I think five of them were spent with me coughing. I'm choking it to death. Uh, two of cups, yeah. Somebody wants to come back to you. Two, six, eight. Yeah, eight of cups. This will be a tough emotional decision to allow someone to come back. 
and it's a tough emotional decision decision for them to even come back to you but they want to let bygones be bygones reconcile it looks like they could be seeking right now a one-on-one -on -one relationship or this is what you need to be seeking right now to have all these different options will only confuse you will only put you in a place of stagnation in terms of your healing in terms of moving forward you need to determine who it is you want you need to determine who is offering what you want and what you can offer to the relationship it needs to be mutually beneficial with the two of cups okay it says that you and someone else have a platonic plus love relationship which equals marriage equals a really good marriage if you decide to go there the two of cups talks about healing a severed tie so this would not be somebody who is new because if they're a new person you don't have a severed tie it could even this whole reading could even talk about bringing a relationship that has been in the dumps for a very long time bringing it back together even when there's a lack of confidence and forward movement um I'm going to use this new deck that um, Ruby's daughter also sent to me. I think this deck is pretty cool and it's pretty. And it's cute. Yeah, it's really pretty. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's see. With the two of cups, what else am I getting from that? It could be, uh, yeah, this is partnership. It's just partnership. It's love. It's something that's already established somewhat, you know. It could be well established or somewhat, I don't know. Um, let's see. Whoa, okay. So these cards are about kind of like um about business and um career. So maybe we'll shift dynamics here in terms of uh, the reading. So it looks like for love, you got some messages for you. You got some messages in terms of how somebody feels about you and what they want to happen between you and them. So we've got healing. All right. Schedule healing work. We just talked about that with the six of cups. You need to connect backwards. Maybe even the, you even need to go to um, some type of therapy. You need to get rid of some trauma. Okay. Or learn how to process your emotions here. You need to go through deep transit transitional healing um this card also talks about um taking time for you you know maybe you are just going 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 working 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 it says clear your energy stop drop and realign with your highest so whomever you you know you believe in as uh the eternal one the universe god whatever um, you need to stop it, really reconnect and realign because you might something is out of alon alignment. You can feel it. And then marketing, get more visible. You know, um, you need to put yourself out there, especially with that King of Wands showing up in career, in your finances, in your business. For some of you, clear your energy. That reduces to 11. So, yeah, maybe some of you definitely. This could even be maybe clearing out some friend group. Maybe you're running with large groups of friends. They're they're not all friends. Let's see what is clear your energy. That's what I'm getting here. Um, yeah, they're not all friends. Okay. Um, you're engaging in some activity that uh, maybe you wouldn't normally engage in. All right, clear your energy. What came out? Wow, can't make it up. Three of Cups talks about uh, neighbors, social activities, uh, social events. Of course, they're at a social activity. Um, it talks about uh, thinking. It talks about uh, expressing your emotions. Some of you need to get... Then the three of discs came out. So it's definitely about maybe a third party or maybe some long-term friend. Maybe you're sticking around or keeping them around because of time. You feel like, you know, I just heard uh, 
time won't give me time. Time makes lovers feel like they've got something real when they only have time. So sometimes we'll kind of come to some determination or logically or try to think, you know, like think about situations that we've been in and we'll try to process it by way of, oh, I've known them for so long. So that's why I, or I've been in this relationship for so long. So that's why I, you know, but it's saying time is just that. It's nothing more. You know, um, you can't keep reconciling maybe negative behavior or people who just don't resonate with you anymore. You can't keep, this could even be family. This talks about siblings, neighbors, social activities. Maybe with someone that you've been doing this with for a long time, you guys could go in, in cycles here where you're in and out. Somebody sees you getting a lot of success, triumph, building. Maybe they want to be a part of it, but um, you, you might know that they don't have much to offer. Clear your energy of third-party situations also that you have been in for an extended amount of time. All right, so let's see. We had healing, healing. What do, what do we have to tell Aquarius for healing? Nine of swords, okay. Your, your, your thought process, your mind. You keep going over maybe some event, some conversation, some negativity over and over again. This is when the thoughts and the emotions, they kind of attack you. You try to run from it for a long, this will be trauma, okay. This would be negative thinking. This would be trauma. Um, and you need to go sit with somebody. And you also need to take some time out for yourself. Take a spa day. Take a vacation day. Um, and try to clear your mind. You keep asking yourself, why? Why me? Why would they do this? Or why would they say that? Or why this? Or why that? You keep internalizing other people's actions. Maybe the answer is it had nothing to do with you. But it had everything to do with them and how they're wired. Maybe transform the question. Why would I even be around somebody like that? Why would I attract that energy so that you can start working on you because you don't control anything and anyone else outside of you. You govern you. You're the governor of you and you only. Marketing. Let's see. Get more visible. Okay, Aquarius, get out there. Yeah, six of swords. It looks like you just need to go for it. You keep... It just makes more sense to do this. It makes more sense to, I don't know, I heard like shooting yourself in the foot. I don't know if you shoot yourself in the foot in terms of not putting yourself out there, not wanting yourself to be the brand, not wanting you, you know, like you have to take some move or make some big move. You got to move. You know, the Six of Swords talks about movement. It talks about moving in the right direction. It talks about things becoming more balanced, harmonious, because it's, you're in the, going in the right direction here. It talks about choices. The sixes are choices. The twos are decisions when you have to cut something off or out. The sixes are choices. So that means that whatever you choose, the other choice is readily available for you to go back to. But you need to, you didn't make a choice here to move forward, move in a different direction. You need to rationalize a moving on or moving into this type of um, direction here. Putting yourself out there. I heard like applying, applying yourself or applying to jobs, whatever that may be for you, Aquarius. Some of you need to go seek spiritual guidance, help. You also need to seek maybe professional help also, okay? So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. Yeah, you need to seek professional help maybe spiritual guidance because they're going to be honest with you. Something is suspended or you're suspended in time until you actually do this. This is what the universe is saying because some of you, you don't have any love for yourself or love for, you, you're not giving enough love and care for yourself. Someone could be saying that they're missing you or there's some missing puzzle piece here in terms of what's going on with you. Um, you're trying to make the smart decision and you need to do so, okay? A residential move could be held up right now because you need to grow maybe in a in some area. It could be financially. You just need to get stronger there. 
okay? That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you. Thank you for getting through the coughing spell. I thought I would cut it out, but I did not. I was prompted to leave it in. Maybe it makes me more personable. Maybe it makes me more real, more human. I cough too, guys. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you again. Happy birthday to all who are celebrating. Um, all links are below. Get your own personal reading, just like this one, especially if you, if you need clarity in your own life, especially if you're in a place of um, maybe uh, some complicated thoughts. If you're in a place of negativity, get your own personal reading. There are specials. Go to the community tab. There's all kind of discounts that you can uh, activate on the website. Go to the website and book there. You do not email me. You do not text me. Okay. You go to the website and book. If you just have a one question or two, you can always text your question to the number below um, and get your question answered that way. Or you could come to my live sessions, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and ask a question, okay? Only when I'm live, you'll see it come up live. It'll say live. It'll even talk about the questions in the title. You do not ask questions now, even though this is a premiere, okay? Um, what else? And that was something else going on. Go over to Ruby's Daughter and get one of these candles and some of that confidence oil, especially if you are lacking there. She also has a, a, a beautiful money oil. It smells amazing. Take advantage of this. Heighten the energy, the, um, yeah, heighten the energy and the manifestation uh, energy around you to bring in those things. Okay. So, um, that's what I have. All links are below. Get in contact with me. Uh, take care. Many blessings to you.